Get free tech advice for your business from O2 Gurus. Search O2 Business for more. Hey guys, welcome to B-Tech. It's Basil here with the Kazam Tornado 348. Now, if you haven't heard of this phone, it's a little wonder. Kazam hasn't had much presence in the UK, but this is the world's thinnest smartphone, so we anticipate it will be making a fair few waves. You can buy this online for under 300 quid, 250 or thereabouts. What can you expect from it aside from a skinny phone? Well, it runs Android metal frame and it stacks up pretty well for the price. It's 5.1 five millimeters. When you compare that to the 6.9 millimeter iPhone 6, that doesn't look too shabby at all. Six, uh, 4.8 inch display, sorry, 720p AMOLED panel. You've also got an octa-core MediaTek processor in here, which is pretty impressive. You're gonna have to excuse the background noise. We are in a public place, but we shot this right here, right now, so that we could get the video uploaded and live as soon as possible. So you could see what all the fuss was about. Let's talk around the phone before we talk around what's inside the phone. You can see a front-facing camera up at the top. Down at the base are three capacitive buttons, home, menu and back. That display at 720p gives you a pixel density of just over 300. Nothing too crazy, but it isn't too shabby considering how skinny this is. Viewing angles look respectable, though like with most AMOLEDs, when you go off angle very, very much, you are going to get a degree of color integrity loss. On the right-hand side, you've got that SIM card slot either a micro or a nano. Uh, down at the base, that 3.5mm headphone jack. I don't know if it is actually 3.5mm and requires an adapter or not. Um, we can try that a little later. You've also got a micro USB connector as well as, on the left-hand side, volume and power buttons. These protrude really nicely and, again, are metal, so they feel very, very reasonable. They're on the left-hand side, which is interesting, so all you left-handed folk out there will be very, very pleased with that. Up at the top, nothing of note, but on the flip side, eight 8 megapixel rear facing camera. As far as the actual device itself goes, it runs Android 4.4. One finger pull down and you can see you've got the quick toggles. Interesting. We expect a notification bar when you do that. Two fingers also pulls up the quick toggles. Perhaps it'll pull up the notifications when you actually have notifications. You can see instantly though, it is a skinned version of Android. It is not stock. You have uh, some home screens that you can pinch through to get an overview. We can do that with two fingers and it will give you a overview on top of widgets, applications and shortcuts that you can overlay onto your home screen. Also, the applications tray very nicely spaced out 4x4 four four grid. All in all, really, really decent feel in hand. As for how widely this is going to get adopted in the UK, who is to say? We haven't heard that it's going to be picked up by any networks yet, but you can pick one up offline at Kazam's website. Other key specs include that Octa-Core MT6592 MediaTek processor. It isn't the powerhouse you might be expecting though when you hear the words Octa-Core with just one gig of RAM. 16 gig internal memory though, which is nice. Non-expandable because, well, we didn't see a micro SD card slot anywhere, and you also have a 2050 milliamp battery. Um, all in all, therefore, the Kazam Tornado 348 seems like a pretty decent phone for the price. The thin fact is going to appeal to plenty of people, we'd imagine. Um, it'll be interesting to get this in for review. We'd imagine things like the camera have taken a fair hit. We can't imagine the battery life being amazing, but 2050, uh, sorry, 2050 milliamps is more than we were expecting. So hopefully you've enjoyed our hands-on with the Tornado. If you have, make sure you click that like button. If you like VTech in general, click subscribe. That's how you're going to stay on top of all our content. Thanks for watching.